I'm Mark Tilly from Dirt Bike Magazine, and as you can see, we're getting our first chance to ride the 2018 KTM 250 XCW with TPI. You might be asking, what's TPI? Well, we're gonna tell you, transfer port injection. Yes, that's right, a patented TPI fuel injection system on the 2018 KTM 250 XCW two-stroke. A truly unique feature on 250 two-stroke race bikes and is the weapon of choice for KTM's top extreme enduro athletes. The patent EFI system has two injectors into the transfer ports of the cylinder designed to make the engine much smoother to ride and reduced fuel consumption drastically. With this advancement in technology, KTM hopes to be gone with some of the hassles that come along with the true stroke, like constantly dialing in the jetting and pre-mixing the gas before being able to use it. And the staff of Dirt Bike Magazine isn't gonna argue with changes like that. So now let's run down a few more things that are brand new on the 2018 250 XCW. So the machine is equipped with a new EMS featuring a new ECU controlling ignition timing and fuel based on information from five sensors reading intake and ambient air pressure, throttle positioning, oil and water temperature to optimize engine response. As we stated before, the new cylinder has two injectors placed in the rear transfer ports for downstream atomization of fuel and are fed through the new 39 millimeter throttle body by Del Ordo, featuring a butterfly valve controlled by a twin cable throttle. A new electronic oil pump feeds oil from the 700 cc oil tank to the intake to ensure precise fuel oil mixture under a variety of conditions. And KTM claims that this will reduce overall exhaust smoke by 50% and last for up to five tanks of fuel, depending on the terrain and type of riding you are doing. The new radiator guards are designed to provide better airflow in muddy conditions. The WP Explore 48 fork that we first saw on the 2017 models received some updates for 2018. With new outer tubes designed for more sensitivity and less stiction with reduced weight, also, the settings have been revised for a stiffer feel. To match what's been changed up front, in the rear, the WP Explore PDS suspension has stiffer settings as well. Some of the items carrying over from the 2017 model include the twin valve controlled power valve, the lateral counterbalancer, a six speed wide ratio transmission, a hydraulically operated DDS clutch, chromoly steel frame, forged aluminum triple clamp with a 22 millimeter offset, ODI lock-on design grips, the no dirt design foot pegs, CNC machined hubs, black rims, Dunlop AT81 tires, a 2.4 gallon see-through polyurethane tank, and the air box features the same no tools design as last year, similar to the, the bodywork is also the same as the 2017 model. It's really cool to be able to come to Erzberg here in Austria to be able to see where this bike was actually tested and developed. The conditions here are a little bit slimier and a little bit slicker than we're used to, but during our first day of testing, we did notice a few things. The throttle response is immediate. It's smooth and it makes really good trackable power. We did get a chance to ride at a few different variations of elevation and really didn't see any fall off in power. We also enjoyed the stiffer suspension settings, both front and rear. It kept the bike up higher in the stroke without giving us a harsh feel. What's also important and something that we didn't notice is there is a little bit of extra weight with the new fuel injection system over the carburetor version, but we couldn't tell the difference. So again, this is the first day of testing we've had on this machine. We can't wait to get one to the United States. For the first test on the 2018 KTM 250 XCW, check out the August issue of Dirt Bike Magazine. And as always, for the latest off-road industry news, go to dirtbikemagazine.com.